Yo, yo, I'm Drew Gilchrist and recently loads of people have been coming to me being like, Yo, Drew, I heard on TikTok that microwave in your bud makes it stronger. Or, hey, Drew, I heard on TikTok that putting your joint in the microwave makes it stronger. So today I wanted to answer those people and give you guys some information that you need to know. But before we get into this video, I need to have a message from our sponsor of the day, Dynavap. Yo, Dynavap are actually sick. They have these completely non-electric vapes. So you literally just put your herb into the end of here, put the cap on, heat it up with a jet lighter, and then it will click, and then you can vape just like you would if you had an electric rig but instead it's completely non-electric you can just keep it around with you in your pocket and the best part about it is you can put wax in it and then dab out of it wherever you go without having a massive rig it's so nice it's super easy to clean so yeah definitely don't sleep on Dynavap and you can get 20% off anything on their website with discount code Drew420 so yeah definitely don't sleep on them don't sleep on the discount and uh, yeah guys thank you so much for supporting the sponsors because without you guys supporting the sponsors I wouldn't be able to make these videos and without the sponsors I definitely wouldn't be here so yo thank you guys thanks to the sponsors and uh, the link for them will be in the pinned comment down below even just clicking on the link really really does help so yeah thank you guys where does this all come from where did this start surely this isn't just a TikTok thing well the thing is it's actually not it goes back like 10 years and it's actually from Snoop Dogg so I couldn't actually find the first time Snoop Dogg said this but I do know he's been saying it for around 10 years he's been saying that he actually microwaves his blunts for 11 seconds before he smokes them. Now he says he does this to trap in the flavors and to tighten the blunt. But then I guess recently TikTok's kind of like taken this and changed it to like, it's gonna increase the potency, it's gonna get you way higher and all this sort of stuff. Look, let's go through Snoop Dogg's claims first, then we'll sort of go on to like the potency side of things. But really what's happening to that blunt in the 11 seconds that it's in the microwave? So when you're heating up weed, usually you're doing a process called decarboxylating. And this is where you're taking TH THCA and you're changing it to THC because THCA doesn't actually do anything in anyone normally like if you just had some THCA and took it nothing's gonna happen but THC is actually gonna do stuff so this is actually the process people use when they're making edibles you're heating up the weed to decarb it and convert the THCA to THC so once people have got this decarb weed they can mix it with fat and then that's actually getting the THC in the fat, which is then what makes an edible because you've converted the THCA to THC, you put it into a fat, you then eat it and then it's you know ingestible and it will get you stoned by eating it. But the thing is, is that happening here? Well, I'm not so sure because yeah, a microwave is probably gonna heat up your weed to around that temperature, around 100 degrees, but you kind of need to decarb your bud for like 20 minutes and 11 seconds really isn't going to do enough, I don't think. Now, obviously, if you've just rolled a blunt and then you put it in the microwave, it's going to make the blunt tighter. Now, Snoop Dogg does have a point there, like that's obviously going to happen, but does it trap in all the flavors like he says? Well, I wouldn't be surprised if it somewhat feels like that because I don't know if you guys have ever vaped bud before or if you've ever seen vaped bud and smell it afterwards, but Trust me, if you've had vape bud, you know that the terpenes come out crazy amounts. Like if you've ever actually, you know, put some bud in a vape, vaped it up, or even just like had that after vape and, and smelt it, or even if you've ever been super low on bud and then you've rolled up some like after vaped bud and smoked it, you'll know that the taste does actually taste a lot stronger. Like it does taste different. It has that kind of vaped taste. Now, different and stronger is a bit subjective because sometimes it could be a bit stronger. Sometimes it could just be different. Sometimes it can have a very vaped smell, but very lightly vaped bud does have the potential to release a lot of them terpenes and smell almost like that vape-esque flavor. So I genuinely wouldn't be surprised if putting a blunt in the microwave for only 11 seconds did end up having some effect on the flavor. So I'm sure some of you guys are probably hearing all of this and you're thinking, huh, maybe this sort of claim does have some validity to it. Well, the thing is, you know what I said earlier about decarbing your bud and getting a THCA to THC? Now, there are some people out there who think that maybe having decarbed bud and then smoking it could increase the potency because you're able to get more straight THC afterwards. Like you're having to convert less just in the heat itself because it's already converted. This is a very iffy statement in the first place. There's no concrete evidence on whether that's true. And also that happening in just 11 seconds doesn't really seem like a, a big claim that you could make. So look, I'm not gonna lie here. After all of this research and everything I've looked into this, 
it doesn't actually seem like microwaving your bud is gonna just suddenly ruin it and make it completely awful and like, holy shit, why would you ever microwave your bud? Which I thought was gonna be the answer to this. I genuinely thought the conclusion to this was gonna be, what the hell, why are you even asking me this question? Don't put your bud in the microwave, it will ruin it. I really wanted that to be the conclusion, but it's kind of not. At the same time though, I would never microwave my bud. Like, you don't really know what else is happening. And, you know, microwaves in general seem like a bit of a sketchy thing to be mixing with when you're smoking something. On top of that, if there is any benefits, you're getting such a little reward out of it for risks of the unknown that just don't seem worth it in any way. If you're gonna go through the trouble of decarbing your bud in an attempt to make it more potent and so you can get higher, you can just make an edible. Like if you're gonna put that sort of effort in and you're really looking to get that sort of result, just make an edible. Don't put your bud in the microwave. Don't put your joint in the microwave. Don't do any of that. That is just some whack shit. Yo, I forgot to say this in the video and I figured I'd put this here because otherwise I'm gonna get a ton of people asking me the exact same thing in the comments. So um, yeah, people are gonna be saying, why did you not actually test this out for yourself? Why didn't you microwave a bit of bud or a joint? Well. First of all, I don't really want to test it out myself because I really don't like the idea of putting something in the microwave and then smoking it. That seems like a really, really, really dumb idea, uh, especially like to test something out in that way. That seems really, really, really stupid. Um, on top of that, I don't actually own a microwave. I know that might sound really weird to some people, but I don't like the idea of like microwaved food. Not in the same sense of me not wanting to smoke something in the microwave though, just in the sense that like most food that you put in the microwave is trash. And I figured if I had a microwave, I would just make myself trash food all the time. Whereas without having a microwave, I actually don't um, cook myself anything and I just order everything. <laughs> but it's still better than having a microwave meal. Still, 100%. But I don't have a microwave. That's the main reason why I couldn't even test it out and like, you know, put a J in the microwave or put a bud in the microwave and like give it a little test because I'm not buying a microwave just for this video. I'm really sorry. <laughs> I'd like to know your thoughts on this in the comments down below. Have you ever tried this? Do you have any mates that do it? Ha you know, has anyone ever told you to microwave your bud? I want to know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Yo, thank you guys for suggesting to me to make this video. I literally don't use TikTok, so uh, I can only find out about this stuff through you guys. So thank you for commenting about it. And um, yeah, people, I live stream every single day on Twitch at 9 p.m. We just got partnered on Twitch. We have a nice verified tick now. Hell yeah, yo, people, definitely check out the streams. We literally just smoke bud there. We don't play games on Twitch or anything like that. Just smoke up every night at 9 p.m. So yeah, people, make sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button down here and turn on them notifications because I'm not going to be in your recommended forever. People, I will see you soon. Have a good one and peace out.